How's it going, everybody? Welcome back. And quickly talking about the best VPN for gaming. Now, when I talk about a gaming VPN uh, or when I'm looking for a gaming VPN, I'm looking for a bunch of locations that are around my area for the most part. So I'm in the European region, right? So I'm looking for a VPN with lots of European locations. And most VPNs do have a lot of European locations, you know? Uh, so all these VPNs do have plenty of locations in Europe and in North America. Um, typically not much in Asia, but if you are in Asia, you'll find more with ExpressVPN, that's for sure. Plenty of Asian locations here. You know, I've got 94 countries and over 3,000 servers with ExpressVPN, uh, 60 countries and over 5,400 servers with NordVPN, and 65 countries and over 3,200 servers with Surfshark. Now, in my case, for example, if I'm having trouble with a matchmaking in a certain country, I want a VPN that gives me good ping. But let's say I'm living in Italy, right? And I'm connecting to New York to match up with the people there. I'm going to have bad ping no matter what I do, right? Uh, so in my case with Elden Ring, for example, I'm having a little bit of trouble matchmaking with people for some reason. I can't find any summon signs. So... Um, Let's say the Elden Ring, I just have to find out where the Elden Ring uh, server is. But let's say the Elden Ring server is in the UK, right? In London. And I'm connecting, let's say I live again in Italy. I'm going to have, you know, a little bit of delay. There's going to be some kind of delay between London and Italy. But a VPN, if you knew, typically a VPN will actually increase your pings. It's not going to really make it better. But if you connect to the VPN server that's closest to uh, the game server itself, you're actually going to have better ping. That's the secret with VPNs and gaming. Um, of course, you're going to need a good VPN. You know, I'd recommend using the best protocols with these VPNs. I personally use ExpressVPN. That's my uh, go-to VPN. I use the lightweight UDP protocol with NordVPN. I definitely recommend the best protocol, the NordLynx protocol, and the WireGuard protocol with uh, Surfshark right here. So these are the best protocols you can use. Of course, it's not just for gaming. You can use a VPN to get early access to DLC or alphas and betas. So, you know, there are lots of uses to VPNs. You can get discounts that may not be available in your location, you get cheaper games. So primarily though, for me, if I had some ping issues, this is where you can fix it using a VPN. And again, the secret is in connecting to the uh, VPN server that is closest to your game server. That's the secret, really. So if uh, you're having trouble with your ping, just try that and you'll be good to go. Um, though, you know, if you're trying to use free VPNs, you might have some trouble because free VPNs will have congested servers and it's just not a good time. Though you can try out any of these VPNs for 30 days risk free, thanks to the 30 day money back guarantee. Uh, so no risk here. And all these VPNs do uh, vary in budget and features so you know it goes from express vpn which is more of a, an easy to use very compatible privacy and anonymity focused vpn that's also very high performance um, but it does come with a premium price so if you're looking for something cheaper you can go with nord vpn which gives you a whole bunch of bonus features and it's a little bit cheaper it's quite a bit cheaper actually than express vpn if you're looking for the best budget option that gets the job done at the cheapest possible cost then surfshark will will do wonders. So if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews if you'd like to learn more about these VPNs. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.